Look at that. The car. Look behind. Troops outside. Look behind you. There's a car. Look. There's a more. Just a car. Got a message in a bottle for y'all. Bottle? Just give me a second. Got a message in a bottle. But where's um, the bottle? I'm about to reward my troops with a little something today for their great work, great discipline and manners. And we gonna make this happen. Okay, so the soldiers got their rewards. And you know, you gotta reward the troops when they're doing good. They wanted some ice cream, they came to the park. And I said I had a message in the bottle, right? No. The message is, right? This is not cookies Stop cookies. feeling sorry for yourself, man. Stop this feeling sorry for hard. yourself. And um, be an example. Be an example for your soldiers. Because whatever you do, whatever you do, and whatever your example that you set, your soldiers are going to follow you. I call it the emulation effect. Like, if you're a fiend, a crackhead, a junkie, your kid is gonna see that and wanna do that. If you're a loser, a person that don't wanna work, a person with no ambition, your kid is gonna see that. If whatever you do, they're gonna emulate it one way or the other, or they're gonna try it. If they like it, they're gonna continue. Because that's what they seen growing up. So, my soldiers, I can't let them see me feeling sorry for myself, even if I am feeling sorry for myself. I got to get up and push. I got to get up and go. Because at the end of the day, what good is it going to do for you sitting down and feeling sorry for yourself? I heard a story today that inspired me to kind of do this video about a client of me and my partner, Frankie. We both own Cold Cuts in um, Rosedale, Queens, right? And he told me of this client um, that lost one of his legs. And it's a real good kid, real good kid. So um, that's his client, but it affected me a lot because uh, this kid is a very, very good kid, very good spirits. And, and he said to me, man, never again will I take anything for granted. And a lot of people take things for granted because they sitting around feeling sorry for themselves about their conditions, about what they don't have, about what they may lack in life. And you have health. You have health. You could wake up in the morning. You could. You have two arms, two legs, two eyes, and everything is working good. There's nothing for you to complain about. Get up and do what you got to do. Stop sitting there worrying about stuff and complaining and crying. There's nothing to cry about. You got help, man. I'm down here on this island. It's a lot of people with lost limbs. A lot of people with severe problems and mental issues. And you got full health and you sitting around crying, feeling sorry for yourself. Listen, I can't, I don't even want to hear that. I told y'all there's no excuses. There's no such thing as excuses. You got people, we got, we got the troops behind. We got the troops right here. The soldiers are right here. I can't feel sorry for myself because they're watching me, they're following me, so I gotta push. I gotta push them. I gotta keep pushing. If I stop, they're gonna stop. They're gonna stop and just stand there because they don't know what to do. They're the youth. They're gonna stop and wait for me to make the next move. And if I'm over there scratching my head, like, what do I do now? Oh, I'm feeling sorry for my. Oh. What you think gonna happen with them? They're gonna start crying too. You ever see a baby fall? And then if you react like, oh, oh, that's when the baby start crying. But if you just burp, play it off and just say, hey, get up. That's what you got to do in life. Get up and go. Don't get up and, oh, my God, my arms, my legs. Push. Get up and keep running. You're good. You didn't lose a limb. You didn't lose nothing. What you crying about? What you feeling sorry for yourself? Well, I don't want to hear it, man. I got soldiers behind me. I can't let them down. Whatever they do in life, and whatever they achieve in life, is going to be partly motivated by me, the man in their life. So get on your ground, people. Right? 
my troops want to enjoy their ice cream. So I'm about to cut this short. Carry on.